If you're in the market for new software to start, grow, or automate your home or field service business, then you're in the right place. In this video series, we're gonna do a deep dive review and demo of the service business management platform's Jobber and look at the good, the bad, and the ugly and help you decide if it's the right app for your business, as well as alternatives that might be a better fit depending on your unique situation. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Guevara and I'm a technology and business strategist specialized in home and field service businesses with over 10 years of technology expertise. Just like how we do our consulting projects, we're going to look at Jobber throughout the series with three different lenses. Your clients, your crew, and whoever's going to be running and managing the system, which for most small businesses is usually the owner. After some great feedback from our last review video on House Call Pro, we're going to switch it up a bit and structure this review based on specific criteria that are the most important for service businesses when looking at new technologies, whether you're just starting out solo or hitting north of 5 million in revenue with multiple headcount. The other feedback we got was that the video was way too long, so that's the reason we're going to split this video and future review videos into several distinct sections. This one specifically covering Jobber's value and pricing structure compared to other platforms. Eventually, I'll have this structured into a playlist so you can easily find which part is the most relevant for your technology search. Of course, you can always reach out to us and we do offer free consultations on our website, www.rehash.tech or try out the different options yourself. We have a curated list of software along with offers, links in the description below. And on that note, let's dive right in. From our first review video, we heard you loud and clear that you wanted the price comparison first. So here it is. In the market, Housecall Pro and Jobber tend to have the most comparable pricing for entry-level service businesses and feature sets, and not to mention have almost identical pricing tiers. So you'll see a lot of comparisons between the two in this video. The biggest thing to pay attention to between them though is how each has packaged features into their platforms. While they have similar pricing tiers, some of what you would consider basic features in House Call Pro in their entry package only exists in the $170 package or higher in Jobber, like the calendar booking system, basic job forms, and some other ones. I'll make sure to highlight that throughout this video and future videos in this series in more detail, so subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date when those videos come out. Lastly, I'll also compare these next to two of the other top field service software I work with, which are Service Titan on the high end and Thrive, which is a more end-to-end -end business management system. Speaking of which, the first caveat I want to mention about choosing a field service software is that if you have a commercial or hybrid residential commercial business, one of the biggest factors for both efficiency and even just general practicality of a platform is how it enables or integrates with both sales and marketing. Generally, B2B businesses that are expanding outside of word of mouth growth tend to lean on just as much direct sales as marketing, which means you might need something more robust for outreach. In that in that case, standard capabilities in most field service platforms like HCP or Jobber generally become much harder to operate because it lacks the complexity or structure of managing multiple contacts and steps for a single company or client. So if you run any sort of B2B business, having a dedicated sales and marketing CRM like HubSpot or Pipedrive is usually best if you need something very specific and dedicated to only B2B clients. Or if you run a hybrid, less complex direct sales environment, a flexible all-in-one solution like Thrive might be your best starting point. It can be done with platforms like HTTP and Jobber as a workaround, but you're going to have to rely on other software anyways in order to get the functionality that you're probably going to need, which at the end of the day is an extra cost. Thrive, on the other hand, has this built into their platform and sales and marketing CRMs have this as their bread and butter for most industries. On the flip side, one of the biggest benefits of a hyper-specialized platform like Jobber and HTTP is that they are specialized in residential residential service businesses, which means quicker onboarding, implementation, and time to value when you're starting to operate the system. If you want to test this out yourself, the links in the description and on my website have some free offers or trials for a couple of weeks so you can see it and test it out for yourself. This specialization also makes it generally cheaper than highly customizable solutions like CRM only options like HubSpot with some exceptions, which are upwards of five to a thousand dollars a month for even basic implementations. However, the downside is that if you do need those customizations or something specific and you unique to your business, especially as it grows, then your hands are kind of tied. So for example, if you're a small under five employee service business targeting only residential businesses with largely transactional services, and you rely only on primarily paid ads or thumbtack or something digital for leads, then both Jobber and Housecall Pro are probably a great fit for you 
99% of the time. However, if you do any marketing, target any fraction of a commercial market or actively try to get organic leads yourself, like through your social media or website with SEO, or want to do active reputation management to get more reviews, if you don't know what that is, then check out this video over here, then the marketing functions of more all-in-one platforms like Thrive and HubSpot that are more integrated are probably going to be pretty important. Of course, you can get these separately through platforms like MailChimp, which I know Jobber does have an integration to, or Social Beef for social media management and more, but then the costs are going to go start rising beyond what the core platform is charging you in the first place. So for what it does have, Dropper and HTTP are pretty reasonable in price points, especially compared to their functionality, as you can see here. Starting at $49 a month if you pay annually for a solopreneur, both Housecall Pro and Jobber packages are pretty much identical on the surface, but you do have to pay close attention to what they're leaving out and which features you need that will push you to Jobber's higher growth tier, which is over $300 a month. Jobber's mid-tier package for $129 has up to five users, just like Housecall Pro, and you need to be at least on this package if you need QuickBooks integrations, any sort of automatic payments, or even online scheduling. Their base package only includes user-led scheduling models. If you compare this type of feature set to HCP, online scheduling and payment features are in the base package of Housecall Pro. So most HCP clients will get much of what they need in the base package if you're just starting out, which is 49 bucks. But Jobber does have some unique features like GPS capabilities, which HCP does claim to have, but it doesn't actually work the way you think. To put both of these price points into perspective, HubSpot's pricing is user-based. So if you're solo, you can get a pretty you know, advanced feature set that you would still need to customize for under a hundred bucks. But every user you onboard pushes you to higher tiers much quicker. So when comparing apples to apples, a five user team is much more expensive on HubSpot versus Jobber and HCP's up to five user model for their middle tier. But it does still allow for a significant amount more automation and flexibility and integrations, especially when it comes to both sales and marketing. Now, if you don't want to pony up 500 bucks for HubSpot, the mama bear option when comparing these different solutions is Thrive coming in at 199. And recently, for the most part, most of my clients, when we compare different platforms side by side, tend to lean towards this platform, usually because I generally come across most businesses that are looking to grow instead of just automate. As an all in one, Thrive has about 90 to 95% of the features in both systems. Unfortunately, GPS isn't one of them. The main downside is that the reporting and email cadencing isn't as good or as robust as a pure CRM for sales and marketing like HubSpot or Pipedrive, but much better if it even exists compared to Housecall Pro or Jobber. So if you want to send, you know, custom thank you emails, ask for reviews or anything like that, you'll have to get something like MailChimp for both Housecall Pro or Jobber or use something like Nice Job for reputation management. It also has flexibility in terms of data and customizations that can adapt to unique business workflows like those that service commercial and industrial businesses, which neither Jobber or Housecall Pro can do. Generally, my clients have often leaned towards Thrive since most businesses willing to invest in and my services usually have ambitions to grow within one or two years. The biggest downside when considering Thrive is that they don't have free trials since they do have to customize the platform for a given industry. That said, I am a certified partner for all four platforms among others, so feel free to book a free consultation with me so I can help you pick and I'll set you up with some offers as well as the folks I know with each vendor who specialize in home and field service software to show you around the platform. So to wrap up this part, when comparing different field service software or CRMs for your business, start by asking yourself what the biggest problems or challenges are with the business you're trying to solve before you start looking at specific features. Once you have that list, align it with a list of features that you think are the most important that actually solves those problems. Then start looking at the software customized for your industry like HCP or Jobber. From there, there are probably gaps that those platforms don't fill, in which case compare one or two others that are more flexible, like in the examples in this video, Thrive, HubSpot, and see how the features compare as well as the different price points. In general though, if all you're looking for is a way to optimize your field operations, including your scheduling, invoicing, and more, then HCP and Jobber are both probably the best bang for your buck. But with Jobber having an edge for me in terms of aesthetics, user friendliness, and integrations, especially if you're going to end up in their higher tiers anyways. However, if you're planning to do a lot of scale, want to do any sort of marketing or social media management, and want the highest level of efficiency across the whole business, not just your operations, then you're probably going to either want to check out Thrive, Pipedrive, or HubSpot and compare their functionality and cost to implement 
compared to both HTTP and Jobber. All this said, if you're still confused, I do offer free 15 minute consultations where you can pick my brain about anything technology or business process related. And hopefully I can help guide you in the right direction for your business with these or other field service software that I've reviewed and come across. I also have free resources on our website, www.rehash.tech. And that sums up this part of this video. If you like this comparison, I'd absolutely appreciate a like. And if you want to stay up to date on business tech and strategies for service businesses, as well as the next part of this job reviewed series, subscribe on the channel as we aim to hit our goal of 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. We're going to start ramping up our videos again. So stay tuned for the next one or check out this video over here that might help your business out. This is Joe signing out. Best of luck with your business ventures and I'll see you all in the next one.